Hi everyone, and welcome to Alex Has Plants. I'm Alex, and today we are going to be starting tips and tricks for when to use a humidifier, how to use a humidifier, and where to place your humidifier in order to maximize the amount of humidity you gain for your houseplants. So I'm going to start with three different humidifiers, starting from like 15 or $20, going all the way up to like 80 or $90. Just so you guys can kind of see what's out there and kind of make your own decisions from there. Let's first start with when to use a humidifier or how you know when it's time to get a humidifier. Now humidifier is a great tool for keeping humidity in ranges that maybe your house or maybe your setup is not able to achieve. So for instance, I live in the desert and my humidity is quite low, so I do employ both a humidifier and a grow tent like what you see behind me. Now humidity is also dependent on which plants you use. So some plants don't like the really high humidities, like they like more low, like I'm talking like 50 or 60, and some even desert dwellers like even lower than that. But if you're going to be keeping kind of more tropical plants in a desert environment like myself, or in an environment maybe where your humidity is a little bit less than like 50 or 60 percent, it is important to start employing a humidifier. So now let's move on to what percent humidity you kind of should be aiming for. My grow tent right now is at around 80% humidity. Um, my humidifier is on a sensor, so it does kick on when humidity gets a little bit below 80% and then shut off when it hits that target. Now sometimes, depending on if I've watered my plants or how many plants I have in the grow tent currently, uh, the humidifier doesn't need to kick on as much or it doesn't need to be active for certain periods of time. And that again is dependent on the environment you keep your plants in. But also the more plants you keep in an enclosed setup like a grow tent, the less you need to run your humidifier. So kind of things to think about. Now, if for instance, you have plants that are on a shelf or out in a more open environment, um, maybe a smaller humidifier or something that's just gonna spray directly on your plants is a very smart investment. But if you're using a more enclosed space, then maybe something that's more on a timer or something that kind of can sense humidity and kind of keep it more regulated is something else you want to think about. So let's start with some kind of humidifier options. Uh, so the first one I've selected is a 15 to 20 dollar range and again you don't have to use this exact brand. I'm just trying to give you an idea of all the other humidifiers that are out there around this range. This one is a great option. It has a very small tank but it would be pretty good for like a smaller setup. It does have an auto shut off, but it does not have a humidity sensor. So that's kind of something to keep in mind that you do want to eye humidity and you will have to turn this unit on and off depending on what humidity you would like to reach. Now for the second humidifier, this is kind of going up a little bit in price. Um, this one is fantastic. It actually has a dial that you can turn. So kind of getting into more um, fine tuning that humidity it has a bigger tank and it does also have an auto shut off, but I do not believe it has a humidity sensor. So this is something that you will have to come back turn on and turn off. And then the last one, so it's not necessarily this humidifier exactly, but it's more the brand, the Lovot brand, if that's how you say it, I don't know. But this brand is really fantastic. They have a wide array of humidifiers from a wide uh, range of prices. And it has a humidity sensor, so you can actually preset it to a certain humidity. I actually have one myself. I really like it. And this is kind of getting into the more like $60, $70 range. There is a unit that's over $100 and it has think like a, a way to turn it on and off from your phone from an app. I didn't include that one, but it's another option if you want to think about it as well. I, I'm more of like kind of a low key plant grow where I just like the grow tent to do its work and then I come in there water plants when I need, but everything else kind of runs on a timer, does its own thing. So I'm a big fan of having the humidifier kind of auto adjust itself. It just it kind of saves me time and just saves the energy. Kind of just to summarize what we're talking about, uh, the smaller tank or slightly cheaper humidifiers would probably be real good for like a very small greenhouse setup or just possibly a few plants on a shelf that will just kind of increase the humidity. You do have to turn it on and off. Um, then kind of the more expensive ones, maybe you have a little larger of a setup or a greenhouse, you have more plants across a longer shelf. Those would be a fantastic option. Again, depending on what you want, if you're in a more open room, um, possibly the humidifier that doesn't have a sensor, so you're actually able to control it because if you have a humidifier that has a sensor in a big room, it's just gonna kinda keep running trying to achieve that humidity and it may waste a lot of water. You're gonna have to keep refilling it. And then lastly, the more expensive humidifiers, so around $60 or $70, will probably be better if you really want to kind of have a hands-off situation where the humidifier will auto-regulate itself. Also, 
a very good tool to use with any humidifier is actually to get a humidity monitor and temperature sensor. It's a great way to monitor the humidity and ensure that the humidity is staying in the range that you'd like it to. It's kind of cool to use those tools in order to kind of sense the humidity from different levels and then also put your plants accordingly depending on where it is. So I hope this helps someone or anyone, I don't know. Um, but thank you so much for visiting my channel and I hope everyone has a great rest of your day.